Welcome to part 6 of 18 in the B300 series engine rigging video series. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the static rigging of the reversing system to demonstrate the nominal settings of the operating parameters of the engine. Perform an engine start as per the aircraft's pilot operating handbook. Ground run the engine for approximately 5 minutes while monitoring all engine parameters to ensure stabilized operation. Connect the aft clevis of the reversing cable to the cam box. Note, the preliminary hole position should be installed at the same position of the cam box on both engines. Once the reversing cable is connected to both the cam box cam and the beta arm, do not attempt to place the power levers in reverse without the engine running as this will cause damage to the reversing linkages. Remove the fuel topping or NF link from the primary governor NF arm and the reversing cable. Adjust the rear clevis of the reversing cable so that the forward edge of the conical cap nut on the beta valve housing is between the two chamfer faces of the beta valve. It is very important to make sure that the forward edge of the conical cap nut is between the two chamfered faces of the beta valve and that none of the beta valve piston is visible outside the cap nut. Incorrect adjustment of the beta valve can result in unplanned feathering of the propeller, leading to possible over-torquing of the engine and a possible hazard to airplane operation. Ensure that the two washers are in place between the spacers and the sidewall of the clevis. Make sure that the link terminal is threaded completely into the clevis. It may be necessary to sand or file the spacers between the clevis and the saddle bracket. This is to ensure that the reversing lever attachment bolt and hardware attaching the beta arm to the clevis is free from binding. Ensure that the beta lever, when in the fully retracted position, stops on the clevis slot end prior to reaching the terminal thread end. If it does not, adjust the clevis counterclockwise. Set the torque adjusting screw so that it penetrates 0.55 inch into the clevis from the outside face. At this point, the end of the screw should be visible in the slot of the clevis. The forward edge of the solenoid bracket should be adjusted so that it is 2.5 inches from the center of the screw holding the NF link. Tighten and secure the bracket onto the reversing cable. Adjust the bearing in the solenoid support bracket to prevent the solenoid from rotating about the reversing cable. Using light pressure, rock the solenoid slightly back and forth around the bearing and check for freedom of movement on the bearing. With the beta arm in the full forward position, the notch firmly against the torque adjusting screw, set the solenoid pull in distance, the distance between the forward face of the solenoid and the aft face of the AN960 washer on the plunger, to 0 0.34 to 0 0.36 inches. Adjust the pull-in distance by loosening the solenoid bracket screws and moving the solenoid with the bracket to obtain the proper position. Retighten the hardware and secure. Adjust the NF link to provide a 0 0.090 to 0 0.110 inch gap between the bottom of the NF link and the jam nut on the rod end. Connect and secure the NF link to the governor arm and to the reversing cable. Position the low pitch warning proximity switch so that it extends 0 0.28 inches aft of the rear surface of the beta ring. The sensing surface of the switch should be a tenth of an inch from the beta ring at the closest point. For further information, please make sure to watch the next video in the B300 series engine rigging video series. For technical assistance, please contact Textron Aviation Team Turboprop Technical Support at 316-676-3140 or 1-800-429-5372. Team Turboprop can also be reached at kingair underscore support at txtav.com.